Hey guys, it's Anthony here from MCTDM. Welcome to another review and unboxing. Today I've got the D-Link Powerline Adapter. It's the AV2601A 1000 Gigabit Starter Kit. So before we get into the unboxing, I'll give you a quick rundown what a Powerline Adapter is. Pretty much for those of you that can either not get Wi-Fi to where they are, or are unable to run an Ethernet cord and just can't get their internet, or if you're like myself even, where when I turn the PlayStation on, it drops out my Wi-Fi from my PC because I've got too many devices close together. The Powerline adapter runs your Ethernet connection via your electricity line. Um, so your mains Powerline. Um, it works pretty much almost perfectly like Ethernet. There is a few limitations though. For example, you won't be able to game with an open NAT type um, without some work. Or if you're like myself that's got a three-phase power where I live, you won't be able to game at all with an open NAT. It's pretty much impossible to open up. However, it is a great alternative, especially for PCs where we don't require NAT types to game because most of them have their own servers that we play on. It is great to use, and that's what I'll be using. I currently had a TP-Link uh, 100 megabits per second line. It has died on me after about two years. That's one of the main downsides to these things is there are reports out there that they don't last too long. Mine lasted almost two years, so I'm happy like that. So let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so as I take out this plastic wrapper, basic costs of this, it's $99 from MSY in Australia. Uh, it's $90 normal retail price on Amazon for the US. However, they currently do have a special on it for only $49.99. So if you're looking to pick it up, now is definitely a good time to grab it. So I'm taking this wrapper out. Let's see, how do we open this one up? Just from the sides over here. So we're opening this one up. So, got an instruction manuals and stuff. They advertise it's simply a plug and play type design. I'll get into that part in a sec. So, you've got out your two D-Link adapters here. I'll just turn it around. Actually, no, I had it the right way. I'm an idiot. So anyway, so you've got these two little adapters here. These are what you plug into your wall outlet here, and they'll give you your internet. So, I'll just pop those ones down there. Yeah, stay. So you got two of these little ones here. Apparently this can support up to 16 D-Link adapters. Um, however, you'd notice your speeds and stuff wouldn't be the greatest after that. Um, that's per main device. So they're saying you could actually have theoretically a lot more as long as your router can support those that you use. You also get two Ethernet cables with this. Um, they pretty much stand across the whole line, either the TP-Link or the D-Link ones from Netgear or D-Link. So, that's not a problem at all. So basically, the newer models are a lot simpler to use. They come with a simple design. You've got your three indicators on the top there. So you've got connection to the PC, connection to the modem, and power on there. So that's how you know if you've got your signal. Turning it around, you've got your slot where you plug your ethernet in, and then you have a little button just where my finger is there. That one there, you press that, and it'll sync up to your main device once you've got the other one plugged in as well. Really, you can't get it much more simpler than that to use. Um, on top of that, you can do some software upgrades and stuff once you've got it plugged into your PC. But you don't usually find that unless you need to factory reset it because you lose connection. What ended up happening with my old one is that it ended up coming unidentified network. So it recognized that it was plugged in, recognized that it synced up on the other end. It just wasn't able to transmit any data through it. Um, that never actually happened when I did start renovating my setup. So, I'm going to plug it in now, you're going to see some tests what my Wi-Fi was able to do, and then you'll be able to see what speeds that this baby can pull. So you've just saw the tests for what the Wi-Fi was able to do, now I'm going to go ahead and do the test while I'm running it by the Ethernet, the power line adapter. So let's see how it goes. Immediately you see a little increase in your ping, it jumps up, I've jumped up 3 milliseconds, but really that's unnoticeable at all. Doing a downloads test, I previously got about 42 megabits per second, so it's almost a 100% increase from that. Looks like I'm going to cap out just below 40 this time. My upload speed isn't going to matter, it's capped at 2.4 megabits per second, unfortunately. So, what this has done, this has given me a almost 100% boost in my speed, considering it's got to travel about 20 meters to my router through a bunch of walls of Wi-Fi. It's pretty good. Um, it's also a lot better than what I was getting with my Wi-Fi. Um, and when I turn my PlayStation 4 on now, I'm actually able to use the internet still. 
Now what you're going to see actually is my laptop doing it that's actually connected straight from the router to the uh, laptop for the speed test. Bye. So in short the D-Link power line adapter has increased my speeds by pretty much double. Um, when I connected it to the power line adapter from just normal Wi-Fi and give me internet access when the PS4 is on at all. Now, as you can see by the final screenshot I showed, though it is only giving me half the speeds of what my internet is capable of. However, if you can't get ethernet to your room, this is definitely a viable solution for you to use. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. See ya.